So getting ready for restart number one here on lap 20. We did have that full restart off the top, but this is the first official restart in the race as Alex Tagliani leads Andrew Ranger and Anthony Simone on to the front stretch and the green flag back up once again and we're back underway here in 12 Riviera. Wow, look at this, three wide again, just like the first complete restart of the day. And I'll tell you, these guys are exciting to watch. Gary Mix picking up a spot underneath the nine car of Mark Dilly. The top three stay single file, though, as they head for the Duplessis gates. Wow, great action up front. What parity we have here. We've got Chevrolet, Ford, and Chrysler all up front. Whoa. <laughs> a little trouble there for the Canadian military.ca, number 29 of Pierre Bork. I'm not sure if he had a little help or just didn't have his tires cleaned off and up. It just looked like the car would not turn, and that tire barrier was coming hard. Do they ever have to get wooed up there for that corner underneath the Duplessis duplex gates? You can see the cars just getting hard on the brakes as they get to wind back up shortly after that, and then back hard on the brakes, and that's where we are. The old three of Alex Tagliani still just barely ahead of the 27 of Andrew Ranger, but look at how calm this guy is. Watch this. This is great to see. He's so smooth on the pedals. He's not really hard on the car. But as you've seen earlier, he's sure hard on the brake pedal. He loves to get that car deep into the braking zone, catches the inside apex, and shoots himself over the exit apex. If the cross flags here in Trois Rivière, that means it's the home hardware halfway update. DJ Kennington putting in the fast lap. The leaders have just been two. The three car, the 03 of Alex Tagliani and the 27 of Andrew Ranger. Well, it'll be really good to see DJ Kennington get himself in a win here on the road course, especially with, Z, with these three specialists up front right now. Well, they look pretty tough to beat the Canadian two. Whoa! Whoa. Ranger hard on the brakes. He locked it up a little bit, got squirrely, and look at the distance close up back to the 95. Anthony Simone's ready to pounce. I've been telling the viewers at home all about this since the start of the race. Too much rear brake, the car gets the wheel hopping, and you really got to keep it straight. And, and I'll tell you, he's done a great job. That car could have been wrecked two or three times already. On board the 47 of LP Jubilee running in the 14th position, chasing the 18 of Ken Noon. And not for long as Jubilee is going to go through as Noon grabs a handful of wheel. Well, again, we keep talking about too much rear brake and getting in too deep and get the wheel hopping. And they get outside the racing line, and the guy behind you will eat you up. Saw a good shot of the number 60, Mopar Dodge Aventure of Ron Beauchamp Jr. Here comes the 2 beyond digital imaging for Fusion of Gary Mix. That's for seventh spot underneath the nine of Mark Dilley. Oh, it was just textbook. He set Dilly up the corner before, actually. Beat him to the braking zone, and once again, keep telling you, he, when you're on the inside of the braking zone, the other driver has to let you go because you can't turn in because your race car is already there. Top three covered by a blanket. Alex Tagliani, Andrew Ranger, and Anthony Simone. And again, Ranger gets loose hard in the braking zone. To look back to the fourth place car. That's the seven of John Billup. The fifth place car, excuse me. DJ Kennington running in fourth, fifth is John Billup. And the rest of the field coming through. Now we had a good look at uh, the 40 of Hanson there. He's having a great run today. Stand out of trouble, and he's definitely in the hunt. Alba Lapsovich in the Tim Hortons number 23, just back there as well in the 11th position. He's having a very good run, and a well-needed very good run here in the 2009 season. Oh, for sure. He's had a tough go all year. That wasn't that many years ago. We used to call him the road course ringer, and he's doing a great job today. Don't go away. we got lots more action to come. Welcome back to Trois Rivières, Quebec. This is the ninth race of the 2009 NASCAR Canadian Tire Series schedule. Remember to circle September 12th on your calendar because that's NASCAR Day in Canada. Buy a NASCAR pin at a Canadian Tire and a portion of the proceeds go towards the Canadian Tire Jumpstart Program. Wow, great racing up front. Look at these two guys going right at it. The Quebec hometown heroes right here nose the tail. Nose to tail, very, very close. Andrew Ranger giving Alex Tagliani a little nudge as they go through the tight twist. He's heading for the Duplessis gates, and Ranger gets into the back of Tagliani and sends a Ranger through the lead. 
Wow, we've seen this movie before. Go back to the Mossport Road Course where, where the 27 was the dominant car, and he still hit everybody he passed. But hey, he's aggressive, he's fast. There's something wrong with Tagliani. He's way off the pace. Simone is going through now DJ Kennington, so that may have not been Andrew Ranger's fault as Tagliani well off the pace. Oh, for sure. Hey, I, 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 I can't eat the words too bad, but you know <laughs> what? He's very aggressive, and I like watching him. So you know what? Tag was off the pace. He had to move him, so he didn't lose the spot. That's for sure. Tagliani heading for pit lane as Jacques Villeneuve passes by. There is your new leader, the 27 of Andrew Ranger. Anthony Simone got caught up in behind the 03 of Tagliani just a little bit. And that cost him a little bit of ground as we hit 16 laps to go here in Trois Rivières. Wow, great looking race here. Simone's about only four or five car lengths back. Let's see if he's got anything for that man, Andrew Ranger. Normally on a road course, and we take a look at Edmonton, he had that car on cruise control. He certainly is one of the best road racers we have in the series. So Alex Tagliani stops down pit lane. Looks like his day is done. But Todd, what's going on with the old three? Guys, all of a sudden, it was Alex Tagliani just down on power. They think there might be a suspension problem as well. But well, you can hear that sound of the engine. It does not sound healthy. Oh, I can hear that from here on the microphone. It's just not at full song. And there we get the replay of the 27 getting into the back of him. I got a recall. I was calling him aggressive. But yes, he was aggressive. But that man right there was out of power. So Alex Daglani climbs out. We've got another problem at the gates. It's the 55 of Dexter Stacy and the 71 of Patrice Brisebois having an old-fashioned duel at the Duplessis gates. Have another look at it. Oh, Breezebois just got in a little bit hard. Dexter Stacy didn't know he was in there. And Dave Whitlock goes through unscathed, but the 55 has to get right it, and the 71 does as well as the leaders come through. Just a local caution, not a full course one. Well, that's really, uh, you've got to be careful going through those local costumes. You don't know which way those guys involved in the action are going to go. And the leaders made it through safely. But here's the 17 caught behind the 55 once more. Now the top two made it through first. And the 17 of DJ Kennington and them in here tractors. Castro Dodge of Andrew had to wait to get by the 55 of Dexter Stacy. You look back in the background a little bit. And John Vilna is coming in fourth spot. But Alex Tagliani, who is also dominant, is out in top. Standing by. Alex Tagliani has climbed out of the car, the hat going on. I know you're trying to muster a smile, but I can tell you're disappointed. Well, I mean, I need to take my hat off to the boys. They did a fantastic job. Uh, it seems like we had like a little leak or uh, maybe like a, a little uh, head gasket leak. So it's unfortunate, you know, I mean, we had a very good car. It was pretty easy for me to stay up front. So I wish we would have won, but hey, this is racing. so. And without Tagliani up front, look at this two-car battle now between Andrew Ranger and Anthony Simone. It is eating up here at Trois Rivières. Oh, the 27 of Ranger just amazes me. He's got that thing slipping and sliding every corner entrance on the rear shoes. I mean, this guy's doing a dynamite job dancing this car through the field. Another driver is out of this one. The driver of the Dickies Dodge in top is with him. Top. Fellas, with Dave Whitlock, who's climbed out of the car, looks like it's a rear end problem that's got you out, Dave. Yeah, it does. It looks like something started leaking in the rear end, maybe a line or something. But I, uh, I don't know. I feel bad for the Dickies crew. We had a pretty good car today. We were battling our way up there trying to get into the top ten, but uh, not our day. How hot is it out there? You look wiped out. Oh, uh, it's really hot. My leg, my legs burning up from being on the uh, on the against the sheet metal there by the shifter. It's, it's pretty hot. The shifter knob come off too, so I shift in the car with no shifter knob. It's a tough day. He certainly had his hands full, guys. In the 29 car, Pierre Bork is also out with some transmission problems. Another Team Whitlock car. Whoa, another big slide for the 71 of Patrice Brisbane on the Lecky Per Dodge Avenger as he slaps the wall. And Howie Skinnell in the 56, the Lucas Oil Dodge has come to a rest in that corner as well, blocking traffic. Well, the 71 just was coming hard into the corner. The 56 had a mechanical issue, and he had to get out to the right-hand side hard in the brake and got the right side hard into the fence in the zone. Take a look, here we go again. He's down the inside, something, oh, the dry shaft come out of the, the 56 car. Look at this, wow. So Patrice Breeze will hard on the brakes and losing all control in the 71. He's got it back, fired up, and doesn't appear to be damaged too, too badly, but the native of Westmount Quebec, well back of the leaders in his first NASCAR Canadian Tire Series race.
Well, there's the Dilly car in as well. He's got some rear end problems. Man, we got transmissions falling out. We got the drive shaft blew out of the 56 car. There is rear end dope all over the racetrack. And we are under a full course caution once again here in the GP3R. It's Wall Revere Ranger leads. 